Hello everybody, I hope you're doing good today. This video may contain copyrighted images being used underneath Fair Use Act for educational purposes. Let's get started. I want to thank the sub that provided me the um, thumbnail at the beginning. You know, she uh, watched my video yesterday and when uh, she seen uh, Patricia adjusting her picture, she decided, man, I got to send this to Flat Earth Reset. And I want to thank her for it. And that's what it depicts. It depicts her jukebox on the left side and the guitar on the right side. And in the middle is, guess what? Yes, the Star of David. All this is staging, folks. This ain't by accident. You know, it ain't by accident that F-E-O-H-P equals 33. And it ain't by accident that F-E-O-A-H-P also equals 33. So it doesn't matter which acronym it you use. If you toss the A in for the and for in the acronym name, it also equals 33. This clown right here, Zulu1, his name equals 33. And then this clown over here is Pastor Dean O'Dell. Yeah, that's right. I guess he's supposed to be a Christian. You know, all these people pass themselves off as religious. They say there can't be no atheists in this community. Well, they ain't no atheists. They ain't no Christians. They're all satanic. I guess that's a religion too, huh? But anyways, as, as I told you, Mark painted out um, Illuminati cards he signed. He also signed a few Las Vegas cards for the lucky people, you know. Um, and who do they get to pass out the cards? A pastor. That's right, a Christian. The ultimate mockery. This sellout, this puppeteer right here, this so-called pastor needs to be sent out to pasture because he's a fraud. He's over there handing out, you can see him right here in his hand, he's handing out Illuminati cards, like the good little Christian he is. You see the fuckery going on here, folks? The ultimate mockery, and I'm an atheist, and I can see this. All right, let's get going here to Patricia. They decided it was very important to explain the missing people. They also bring up Brian Mullen. And pay real close attention to it. Let's listen. Like that. Um, yeah. Maybe we should address that. Controversy 7, who was a, a, a big focal point of going to this and had teamed up with Robbie D, couldn't go because he had a death in his family at the last minute. And he made a video yep. about it. Yep. So sad for him. Uh, I was looking uh, forward to meeting him. Emmanuel is his first name. Um, then we had uh, John the Morgyle, who's... I don't know the specifics, but he's going through some things and did not attend. Now, you notice throughout this video and throughout our video, she's always looking off to the left, her left, our right. That's because there's somebody else there always helping her produce this crap. This ain't produced by Mark and Patricia. They're told what to say, how to say it, when to do it. Patricia admits the name the name potatoes. She admitted to it one day in a show that having other hot potatoes in it was freaking stupid. And then she's on uh, going around claiming that she created F E O H P one day taking a shower. She thought of the name. It's all a lie. You know what? Metatron funded this conference, <laughs> and they also. Well, I won't tell you now. I'll tell you at the end of the video, so you'll have to watch until the end. All right, let's keep going here. Um, we had Brian Mullen, as we all know. Uh, we're not quite sure what the story was. but Listen to her. She just said we're not sure what the story is about Brian Mullen, why he went missing. Now listen. Quite a long time ago, he... Um, we never really heard oh, if he's coming. looking at off stage. He wasn't coming. Um, I do know he's okay and he's fine and he still has the same belief system. She just went from we're not sure what happened to I know for sure he's okay and he has the same belief system. <laughs> do you guys trust this uh, actress up here on stage? But something has made him shut down speaking about it publicly. <laughs> so. Um, and this clown here, he can't even look at the camera. They know why he got shut down. 
obviously uh metatron shut them down or somebody did there's no way for me to say what that is although i've heard rumors we all have but he's okay and i guess that in the end that's all that matters and um what else who else am i i know i'm leaving somebody uh, amy denise but she oh, was out denise, yes she was out fairly early because of peer yeah. pressure peer pressure so, she, yeah. she pulled her channel as well but the it, not to treat it like a sports team but the flat earth roster is so deep yes that it's like we had people fill in the gaps without even a, a, a skip in the beat it was it was that easy and uh you know watching what it was it was inspiring for me to watch like jared and bob you know it's like oh yeah oh their cast of characters aren't deep they're metatron actors that ain't that ain't very deep <laughs> And Jaron's speech, he didn't even do a presentation. His speech was a freaking joke. People paid for that. And he and, and you're all dressing like bums. You're all dressing like bums that live in a van down by the river. But yet you overdress for the silly ass uh, flatty awards. Looking like buffoons. There was nothing professionalism about this. Even though uh, uh, Patricia tries to pass this off as uh, professionalism, the uh, conference. Utter nonsense. Well, we're going to have to spend a, you know, a little extra time tonight re, uh, reorganizing our format, and they did. By the time right. the next morning was there, it was like... Everyone was very professional in the way they spoke and handled themselves on stage. Yep. Um, and, you know, there was a couple of issues with microphones or lighting oh, or, you know, those things that always happen or um, intros that didn't play or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's keep going. As you all know, in the uh, video on the hill by the billboard, and for whatever reason, they don't want to tell you that they got chased off by police. Um, apparently, they got to keep that out of the script. But they did get chased off by the police because you even hear Patricia mentioning it in uh martin's video i should have got a clip for you but i didn't but trust me they got chased off the hill and they don't want to say why but um in that video i pointed out how easy it was for me to spot out the security there to protect protect sorry protect patricia <laughs> try saying that protect pro protect Patric patricia try saying that all right so um let's listen I think Mark is being sarcastic because I even found um, security in his photos that he put up. No. It's like we, we had a wonderful security team, the, the guys behind the scenes that nobody knew was there, mm -hmm. and they had everything taken care of just in case something came up. But they put us on a buddy system so that if you needed to leave the main area and, and you know go powder your nose, as they say, um, and I don't mean cocaine, um, <laughs> that you were supposed to go with – a friend to make sure that nobody would corner you in the bathroom and right. what we mean are uninvited trolls or people with nefarious intent not the flat yeah. earthers that were there but it was totally fine and yeah. nothing really went wrong um but they but they had their work cut out for them because we were really really busy i mean be, again be, between the the media that was milling around and just people in general it's not like they were bored and you're like, oh, okay. I mean, they're watching. They're looking for people all the time. Yeah. And it was it was great. They, they did a fantastic job. And I was really happy they were around. A really tall man with a mustache who was assigned to me, he was sort of chiding me because I just forgot that I was supposed to tell somebody where I was going because I'm definitely one of those kind of people who goes where I want to go when I want to go. And he's like, I saw you go, blah, blah, blah. You shouldn't do that. You need to let us know. And I it made me feel very secure. Yeah. And I think that nobody felt any sort of danger there. But the thing is, is that we didn't really expect danger. But if you're going to put on a conference or a convention. You notice she didn't, they didn't expect danger. But yet they try to tell you they got death threats a couple weeks ago to bail them out of their uh, uh, Rick Real debacle. <laughs> you see the nonsense here? If that was a real uh, real death threat, they would have took it seriously. But it was fake. They made it up. They probably emailed each other a death threat. Let's keep going. You do just, just more proof it was a lie. Dot your I's and cross your T's because 
uh, people's safety really does come first. And then yeah. the reputation of flat earth in general. We don't want things going crazy and out of hand because of just one person with, you know, bad vibes. Yeah, there's a there's an old, well, it's not even that old. I remember from back in the day, it was a German military contractor and their company slogan literally was leave nothing to chance. Right. Uh, why would you? There you go, folks. They had a five-man armed security team. Let me tell you something. That's going to cost you a lot of money. Probably, oh, minimum $10,000 a day. I know uh, Robbie didn't pay for that. Nope. Metatron paid for this. This was put on by Metatron. This whole convention. And it probably wasn't a money maker given they had to have a security team. Uh, it, but there's probably a chance to taxpayers paid for that security team and there were government agents protecting government agents. I mean, it's just like government. If these people were doing the right thing, they wouldn't need to be protected. Now, let's go on here. You know that guy, Happy, the guy, the weird guy, all dressed all funny, had the funny-looking car? I've seen that guy around in the media before doing the same buffoonery shit. And I agree with everybody else. He was a plant. Let's listen. Right, and people were saying, oh, they showed Happy, a gentleman who goes by the name Happy, and oh, that's going, they did that because he looks weird and it's to discredit flat earthers. You know, because that guy has a, a painted vehicle and wears brightly colored shoes, he has a right to do that. We all have the right to look sure. and act as, as however we wish. That's right. the beauty of this. We don't have any sort of strict code of conduct or uniforms or, you know, anything like that. We can... That's right, no code of conduct because death threats, if they're sent by Metatron employees like IPS or whatever, is 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 uh, authorized. Okay. Yep. Just utter, utter bullshit coming out of this clown show. Let's keep going, though. Um, Mark here is uh, going to talk about his me many me media interviews. Let's listen, and then I'm going to play a short media clip for you look, look real quick okay all you do is flat earth conference media if you type in that you will get right. right now there's one through seven as we speak and most of those were put up to, in the last 24 hours uh so we've got let's see cbs raleigh cbs philadelphia wmfy bbc5 promo the bbc5 full thing UK talk. Yeah, these are all the ones he posts on his channel that are getting all the thumbs downs and very few thumbs up. People are seeing through this clown show. These people's BS. But let's let me play that media clip for you. Now listen to this. Excellent. Okay. Um, so we're just doing an item on our business uh, news with uh, something on inflation in the UK and then we're going to come to you in a minute or two's time we'll take it up to the end of the hour all right sounds good um, we should have about five minutes with you and when you start hearing some music quietly in the background that's our kind of end of the hour theme tune that means we need to start wrapping things up in the next what, 30 seconds or so all right um, the presenters will guide you through that anyway but it's just a, so that you know what's going on when that happens all right and uh, we'll be with you shortly thanks Mark thank you yeah, but they are. Thank you, Danny. Danny Houston there from uh, Five Live Money in Leeds. It's uh, seven minutes to five. Now, over the weekend, hundreds of people gathered in North Carolina for the Flat Earth International Conference. Attendees believe that the shape of the Earth is a disk instead of a sphere. Some of the arguments in favour of this theory that gravity doesn't exist in Antarctica is not the continent it appears to be, but an ice ring that encircles the Flat Earth and contains the ocean. Mark Sargent is the author of Flat Earth Clues and was the keynote speaker at the 2017 Flat Earth International Conference. He joins us. Did you notice that? Keynote speaker. From the States. Hello, Mark. Hello. How are you? Great. Welcome to the program. Thank you. Um, for those who may not kind of have the same belief system as you, just explain the Flat Earth theory in a nutshell you, in a minute or so. Sure, sure. I can do it in a minute. All the world's a stage, and you are on it right now. You are in a planetarium, a terrarium, a snow globe, a building, for, for lack of a better term, a sports stadium. And that building was discovered by the United States and the Soviet Union in Antarctica, the outer boundaries of it, in around 1960, and they decided to keep it a secret. 
Yeah, okay. What? Did you hear that buffonery? A terrarium. A snow globe. You know, as a flat earther, when I use the globe, the word globe, I'm, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I embarrass myself. <laughs> but Mark calls it, a, we, live, we live on a snow globe. Look up the word globe, people. It says spher spher spherical. Earth. <laughs> no real flat earther would describe it as a snow globe or a terrarium. That snow globe and the terrarium is two different things. We're not reptiles living in a terrarium. Now let's listen because he goes on to say he was a conspiracy theorist before coming to flat earth. I wasn't lying about this when I said it in my other video. I didn't make it up. Hang on a minute. Now, what, what are they keeping a secret? Oh, they're keeping a secret that we are in an enclosed system, that the earth is not a globe at all. It is a flat stationary object that is covered by some sort of firmament a dome uh, a structure of some sort and oh, okay that, you know, that's and they decided to you know create the space program the space race was an absolute sham it's the longest running television series in the history of the world okay because obviously, obviously that was going to be my first question yeah. you presumably when you see pictures of the earth from space you oh, yeah. you, you presume that just that picture oh it, yeah no it's worse than you think i'm saying that the only reason nasa was created in the first place was to keep this thing under wraps for as long as possible anyways he goes on to explain he was a, a conspiracy a conspiracy theorist since what i forget 1995 or something <laughs> that's an awful long time ago that's before 9-11. I don't think you could have found very many conspiracy theorists on YouTube before 9-11. That many years before 9-11. Let's keep going here. Stardom. A lot of, uh, There's a lot of pictures of me and everyone where someone's taking a picture. She starts it out as me and then she goes, oh, everyone. It's all about her, folks. You know it. She's talking about people taking pictures in front of her and behind her. And, oh, I just feel so special. You know, it's all about her. Because remember, when she said she got back, she went to the grocery store and she felt, oh, depressed because people weren't coming up saying to saying her name. Oh, hi, Patricia Steer. Picture of you, and you can see that picture. But then you see another person taking a picture of you behind the person taking right it. you know what i'm saying it's like yeah. there was multiple cameras on everybody there at all times taking pictures right um which was it was pretty cool because it gives you that feeling now people are going to hate this but all of us not me all of us the mm -hmm. feeling of she's not talking about all of us let's get this clear she's talking about metatron and their little puppets that followed them to the convention she's not talking about all flat earthers here because I don't feel like a freaking movie star, but we know she does. The celebrity, the culture we dislike in Flat Earth, but the feeling that we've created our own celebrity in Flat Earth, which is all of us. Yeah, isn't There's no top brass. It's all of us are worth having an interview or having a photo taken of or being in a newspaper. Every single one of us. There's no top brass. It's a freaking lie. That's why he calls himself a keynote speaker for the flat earth community. And you act like a pompous actress, a famous pompous actress, Patricia Steer, Steerer. Let's keep going here. A couple more clips and we're done. You guys are going to love the clip after this one. Let me just play this for you. It's self-explanatory. Damage control is one word I should say to describe it. Well, there's people within Flat Earth who feel that there's a conspiracy about the Flat Earth clues, that they came out and that you work for Metatron or something. Mm -hmm. And uh, He does work for Metatron. Metatron owns the right to the Mark Sargent app. Mark Sargent creates content for Metatron app. He already admitted he gets half of that money. He works for Metatron. And Metatron obviously produced Mark Sargent's Flat Earth Clues. Mark Sargent was just the narrator, and Mark Sargent admits he got an email from his producer about his new website, MarkSargent.com. Mm-hmm. 
I suggest if you don't know about that, go watch MD, MGTV's Part 4. So, let's keep going here. Got more. Uh, they are all clues to lead people down a dark alley from which there's no return about something that isn't true. That you were hired to put out these clues to get people to go on wild goose chases and then to get involved in a cult uh, where someday it'll all be revealed it's a big lie. The thing is, is that that doesn't even make any sense because no. if you can't detect motion or curvature using science. Game over. Plus, eventually, I'd uh, plus eventually I'd have to get a payoff from this. You get a payoff every month, Mark. Two times a month, or either four times a month. You're making money. You're making thousands. I bet you make six figures, Mark. Are we supposed to believe you and Patricia forked out between you two? Over a hundred thousand dollars for your yearly travel, your five man security team that must have cost at a minimum ten thousand dollars a day. Do you expect us to believe all that money's coming out of your unemployed pockets? You work for Metatron, quit trying to lie. Let's see if I ain't more on this clip. A little bit more. And like, sooner or later, look, if you're going to punk somebody, sooner or later, you got to tell them. Right. Uh, otherwise, it's like, look, it's been two and a half years. So... You are Mr. Dedicated. And I, yeah, it's going to be the old... It's a, it's a five-year punk plan. That's yeah. what it is. After five years, I'm finally going to come out and saying it's all... No, I mean, because actually the BuzzFeed guy was... It's all dupe and delight through all this show. And there's some more serious dupe and delight. He's always scratching his nose, too, during the shows, if you watch. Usually the other side and the bottom part of his nose. <laughs> Mind you, Matt, powdering in the uh, restroom Patricia talked about, doesn't it? His eyes seem awfully dilated with lights in his eyes. I can see his pupils fine on his camera. Big pupils. Hmm. Strange. Anyways, let's keep going here. Um, you know, they try to act like they aren't paid to do this. They've been spending hundreds of thousands of dollars of their own money to do this. Um, you know, they're just kind, generous people, unemployed, traveling the world. You know, you know what? Patricia claims one day she was taking a shower and she thought of the name Flat Earth and other hot potatoes. And then she's going around telling everybody, oh, that she created F-E-O-H-P-L-L-C to uh, hide her address from us, truthers, from us flat earthers. Well, that seems like an extreme step to hide your address. <laughs> like you said, Patricia, why didn't you just send it to your lawyer? Remember, you first said that uh, what you might call it, the address to Landry's was your lawyer's office. <laughs> now that's not the case. That's all a lie. Now you created F A O F E A O H P uh, uh, to hide your address. That's more lies, Patricia. Let's take a look here, folks. And remember, I told you stay tuned because something's coming up. F E O H P L L C. December 1st, 2016, 12 months ago, limited liability, Delaware. Remember, it was registered in, 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 in um, uh, Virginia, I believe, and its, and its jurisdiction is Delaware. Corporation Trust Center, agent address, da uh, um, owner's data down below. Let's look here. Websites, Metatron, Inc., Dover, Delaware. Registered address, company, F-O-E-H-P's company address is registered to Metatron's address. <sighs> so Patricia is lying her ass off when she says she ain't getting paid. <laughs> and she's lying her ass off when she says she thought of flat earth and hot potatoes like taking a shower one day. Because Metatron owns MarkSargent.com, they own Mark Sargent's app, they own Flat Earth and Other Hot Potatoes, they own it all, folks. And these are just actors using their domains. 
Let's look here. Corporation Trust Company. Yep. Let's see. Oh. Changed here. Let's click that one. No, oh, I must have clicked the wrong one. Huh. When you used to click on it, the, the um, email address came up again on this page, but I guess it didn't. Problems and questions about data, click here. But anyways, you can see Metatron owns FEOHP LLC. <laughs> they own Patricia. They pay Patricia. So let's go on one more last clip, and that's it for today, folks. Oh, getting through the cracks. This has got duping delight all through it. It doesn't need any expl explanation. They're doing damage control. People are catching on by the numbers. Let's listen. Um, all of these, look at all the, the news agencies. They all seem to be owned by the same like three, four corporations. Yeah. Um, how are we ever going to make headway against this army that has, it seems, their arms interlocked like the stones in the pyramids where you can't even stick a piece of paper in between them? How are we going to get through? It's a good question. And at this point, uh, for whatever reason, we're being allowed to get through. Uh, they're preparing you for their show, their upcoming, whatever it is, radio, TV, whatever it is. They're preparing you for it. <laughs> and you can see the duping delight. I'll let this play out. What do they want? Do they want, okay, number one, do they think we're just so insignificant that no one will care and no, this isn't going to grow? Uh, I, That's why I they ignore us? Or are they going to use Flat Earth as a sort of wedge to overthrow NASA, to overthrow government even flat flat earth is is part of a bigger picture and i'm still you know i'm looking at my chessboard over there i'm still wondering you know i'm still trying to work out the angles you know there's all sorts of potential ways they could go but i again i still think especially with google that's the big one because google owns youtube right and we're being recommended on youtube mm -hmm. and we're pumped up to the top of the search engine on google if they didn't want us here it, they didn't want imagine that these people are on top and they don't even have that many views. Mark doesn't even get 8% of his subscribers to view. The only, the only time Patricia gets 3,000 viewers is when it's a show like this, when there's controversy. But yet these type people are at the top of the search engines. It ain't by accident, folks. It's because the media is letting them through the cracks to embarrass Flat Earth community and run it down the rabbit hole. Have a good day.